Very recently, I did a haul where I got these Daniel Smith colours. One of you suggested that I compare some of the colours that are similar, I guess in the hopes that it would help them pick which colours they want. And thus, that's what I'm going to do here. All of them are granulating, all of them are beautiful. So in terms of the colours that we'll be comparing, there are some from a number of different ranges. This palette right here is my Roman Schmoll palette, which I got and I already created a video for you and I'll link it down below. They are some wonderful, wonderful watercolours which have some beautiful granulating colours within the range very very affordable and i'll link where you can get them down below as well as the video where i swatch them out in more detail these colors here are the daniel smith colors that i got in a very recent haul essentially they are colors that i got because i just loved them from the dot cards that i swatched out and this is like me roughly swatching them out and then over here i decided to get one schminke color and i added that to this palette over here which is my newest edition and it's a schminke was 12 set now 13 set special edition watercolor so for this i'm going to be using this really nice super succulent brush from paul rubens so the first color that we're going to start off with is the daniel smith cobalt teal and we'll compare that to the roman schmoll cobalt teal both of them are pg50 this one's the daniel smith color and i've just poured these out into the pans these ones are like slightly still wet now let's get some of the roman schmoll cobalt teal which is again pg50 both of them are super nice but i must admit to my surprise i actually quite like the roman schmoll a little bit more it's just a bit more pigmented a little bit warmer i guess let me see if i can pick up some more of the daniel smith yeah i actually prefer the roman schmoll one so both of these are pg50 as you know i make weekly art tutorials paint alongs and vlogs but i also love getting suggestions from you guys to basically help out with queries like this next we have so some of these colors are not complete translations so they're just colors that for me looking by eye i'm like mm, they're kind of similar i wonder <laughs> I wonder what they'll look like next to each other. So next we have the Daniel Smith Cascade Green, which is this one right here. And this color I actually got because I swatched it on the dot card and it was absolutely stunning. And on swatching, I'm like, yeah, this is not really going to resemble anything else. But trust me when I say that the granulation in this is beautiful. It has PBR7 and PB. 15 and i just want to add loads of water to it so that we can actually see all of that separate out and we'll leave that for a second and then next we have the roman schmoll ocean blue and again absolutely stunning <laughs> now when i have them next to each other i'm like huh, they're not that similar at all <laughs> the ocean blue is by roman schmoll is very clearly a lot bluer this one is very clearly green but when I looked at them dry, I just felt like they had very similar qualities, probably because they both have PB15 inside them. And then by Roman Schmoll as well, I have the transparent turquoise, which is PB153 and PG7. Now, I thought that they would be a lot more um, different. And then when I got them and I swatched them out, I was like, hmm, they're kind of similar. That being said, I still prefer the ocean blue to it, but I thought that it would be nice to show you both of them. So as I said, this has PB153 and PG7, and I'm just going to add some more color there to help it granulate. Next, we have the Daniel Smith Indigo, and I'll compare all of these at the end once they're all dry. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> so this indigo is made up of PB60 and PBK6. One of the things that you'll notice is that this brush holds so much water. <laughs> so, so, so much water. I'm quite new to using it, but I'm just absolutely loving it. And it was one that was kindly gifted to me by Paul Rubens. And I hadn't really thought of them in terms of like their brushes, but yeah, I am impressed especially if you like granulating because i tend to find the more water you add the more the colors really have a chance to play and the more they clearly granulate next we have shadow violet where is that one two three this is shadow violet by roman schmoll pg50 pb29 and pv19 now initially when you put it down you're like mm, this is a 
grey colour is not that pretty but do not let it fool you because this is absolutely stunning because true to its name it's got that greyish quality yes but it's also got beautiful hints of violet inside and once it's dry you will see that next we have daniel smith lunar blue which is this one here which again is so pretty <laughs> and i'll show you that when it dries as well and then we have mineral violet by roman schmoor and i love like violets and deep purples and i'm going to compare that to the daniel smith rose of ultramarine which was again very very heavily recommended and one of the reasons that i thought this was a great idea because quite a lot of the time different paints are different prices or you know they're easily accessible in some places and not others so it's always good to kind of know which supplies near you actually work which ones are similar which ones you might like a little bit more so i thought that this was a very nice and clever idea because it one of the things that i love about roman schmall is that especially in the uk they are super affordable and i've done a whole separate video where i swatched them out and i talk about them but in this one i just thought it'd be nice to have a little bit of a comparison and this is stunning <laughs> like it's so so beautiful don't get me wrong rose of ultramarine also beautiful but in a different way and i will show you that now this one is rose of ultramarine by daniel smith and it is ooh, pb29 and pb19 which is the same as the roman schmoor mineral violet but you can see in different proportions hence this one is less purple and more like it's a warmer purple leaning towards red whereas this one is very much like a purple purple leaning towards blue but both of them beautiful their granulation chef's kiss <laughs> like a1 and next we have the roman schmoor perlin green which one is that ah yeah this one so this doesn't actually granulate but this was the closest i could find to the schminke like color in terms of like comparison pbk 31 and like a nice moody green and then with the schminke the granulating color that i got is from here and it is forest blue is made up of pb36 and pbk11 and you see i was like ah oh, these will complement each other nicely this is the final result and just to go through the results a little bit closer um with the hopes that that will be helpful so the first two comparisons are the daniel smith pg50 with the roman schmoor pg50 i actually i actually quite like the roman schmoor a bit more that being said it doesn't granulate whereas you can see that the daniel smith cobalt teal blue does actually granulate a bit more i like the roman schmoor's like smooth coverage and i also like that it's i don't know it feels like a nicer um like a nicer more uniform cleaner blue like i can't quite explain it perhaps it is because of the granulation but also it's a bit more pigmented than the daniel smith so not necessarily the fairest of comparisons because they're completely different but there you go both pg50 but those are the results for you next we have these ones which you may think are not similar at all why did i compare them but at the time i thought they were we have the daniel smith cascade green with the ocean blue by roman schmoor and again the transparent turquoise by roman schmoor and they are all beautiful <laughs> beautiful colors i must admit that this is clearly a green and this is clearly a blue but initially when looking at them i just felt that they were slightly similar so they might be nice to have compared next to each other my swatches before as well so they are still true to color. I hope that you can appreciate when looking at it that you can kind of in the cascade green you can kind of see like browns or yellows peeking through as well which is one of the reasons that I loved it when I did the dot card. In the Roman Schmoor you also see that and I think that's perhaps why I was seeing like a similarity between them poking through in a beautiful beautiful way although this is clearly a blue. With the transparent turquoise again I think the similarity for me was more between the ocean blue and the um transparent turquoise rather than the cascade green 
and again a beautiful color does granulate although because it's a blue and a green the granulation is a little bit more subtle I find we have indigo pb60 and pbk6 and again kind of lightly granulates this is the Daniel Smith one and next to it we have the Roman Schmoll Shadow Violet which is so beautiful. Can you see the little bits of violet just poking through and the name just makes sense because it's shadowy, I see it, it's like greyish but when you look at it you can see the violet coming through so again out of the two mm, I, they are different like I don't think you do I don't think they are the same at all but I again I'm leaning more towards shadow violet but this is not about my opinion this is just comparing the colors for you and then comparing this to the lunar blue as well let me zoom that out a little bit because I actually think because I actually think that looking at it it's the daniel smith lunar blue is maybe a little bit closer to the ocean blue up here do you see it with the eye of faith again different colors definitely moodier but so so beautiful these two so this is the mineral violet by roman schmoll and it has pv19 and pb29 and likewise is the daniel smith rose of ultramarine pb29 and pb19 now this daniel smith rose of ultramarine was recommended so so many times by you which is why i ended up getting it initially when i swatched it i'm not gonna lie the swatches on the dot cards weren't very impressive but as you know they didn't give that much paint so I didn't know if it was a limitation of the dot cards as opposed to of the color and I got it and I'm not disappointed although they both have the same pigments they're both very clearly different colors but very clearly absolutely beautiful now for me I love purple so I'm just feeling this mineral violet all the way but rose of ultramarine is again also incredibly beautiful and I think if you wanted to make it a bit more like this and you would just add a bit more um you would just add a bit more ultramarine aka pb29 to just make it lean more towards this roman schmoll color so yeah chef's kiss <laughs> and then last but not least in terms of comparing these colors as well this is the roman schmoll perillin green which didn't granulate that much it only has pbk31 inside it so it doesn't necessarily have other colors to you know other pigments to divide into like the rest and as well as that we also have the schminke forest blue which is a moody would i describe it as a blue it's a moody to me moody bluey gray which I guess makes sense because it has PB36 and BBK11. Editing this, it also randomly occurred to me that, <laughs> that I had a Schmincke dot card um, that came free in one of the hauls and it may be nice to compare some of the colours with these as well. So I won't swatch them out again, but I'll put them kind of next to each other so that you can decide and look. This, which is the Glacier Green, which to me looks blue it has pg50 and pr233 and if you compare that to the daniel smith cobalt teal which also granulates and to me looking at it i feel like there's some similarity between that and the daniel smith um cobalt teal blue which is pg50 which i guess would explain why there's that similarity ocean blue which is pbr24 and pb153 so not completely similar but i think that there is a bit of a similarity there out of the two i still prefer the ocean blue i think the glacier green is beautiful it's just i don't really know where i would place it and i think more because of that little bit of red poking through next we can do these two there's the roman schmoll mineral violet which is pv19 and pb29 the daniel smith rose of ultramarine which is pb29 and pb19 so the same and then there's the schminke galaxy pink which is pbr33 and pv16 now what else do we have yeah this one this is daniel smith indigo pb60 and pbk6 and this here is deep sea violet which has pb29 and pbr33 so this here is called <laughs> this here is the schminke um, forest brown which has pg26 pbr7 and py43 and compared that to the pyrillin green which is pbk31 that is stunning and the schminke forest blue which is pb36 and pbk11 these are my newest addition to the kind of granulating game that I have so these I don't have as of yet but these I do and I absolutely love them now let's go back to the video
please feel free to let me know if there are any others that you would like me to swatch out or you'd like me to compare side by side I am more than happy to do that if you are still watching then you are most definitely a real MVP and I really 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 appreciate you let me know by telling me which one of these colors was your favorite thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week bye